In 2024 is going to be a year for Gaganyan readiness. Of course, Gaganyan manned mission we have targeted for 2025. If you are able to do everything in 2024 very well, that target uh, uh, will become difficult. So you have to focus on what you want to achieve in Gaganyan for 2024. So to have details, uh, the beginning of the Gaganyan program started with the TVD1 mission of the abort mission. We have four in the series, at least two more we must do in 2024. So that is our target. So th uh, by that we will have the three abort missions demonstration. Then we must do at least one unmanned mission. Our target is to do two unmanned missions beginning of next year, this year as well as end of this year. That is our target. Let us see with respect to the preparedness of various hardwares, etc. We will target that. So that becomes uh, one package of two unmanned missions and two test vehicle test flights. It's a huge uh, effort. Then of course along with that we will have a, a helicopter based drop test to prove the parachute systems. There will be multiple drop tests. We also will have a pad about test which is called uh, the launch pad about test and many hundreds of such uh, validation tests including uh, environmental control ally support system related test, the crew module related test, simulation test beds and hundreds of them which I cannot even describe. So it's going to be the Gaganyan year. Along with that we are going to have launches of GSLV for NISAR. Uh, the, this year itself we are going to have first flight of GSLV uh, with the inside 3 ds which is now going to happen soon. Vehicle is almost ready. And, it, and the second flight of GSLV will carry the, the NASA ISRO synthetic aperture radar satellite. Uh, we, so that means two of the GSLV flights are minimum required. There are some more in, in pipeline uh, including the NAVIC second uh, series of NVS-02 also should be launched this year. We have SSLV launch uh, now scheduled, uh, the second flight of the SSLV, uh, third flight of SSLV which is to happen now with the satellite, so that is also getting ready. Sa uh, rocket parts are ready, satellite is just completing its uh, final phase of integration, so it will take one or two months more. We have also PSLA missions which are going to be commercial missions, at least two commercial missions for N NSIL is scheduled next year. We also have uh, other uh, remote sensing missions of PSLV. So there will be multiple PSLA missions. I am not giving you the numbers because the numbers, if you start counting, they will be very large. So uh, we would like to see uh, the reusable launch vehicle landing experiment you saw last year. Uh, that landing experiment we have to now demonstrate it with other more severe conditions. So at least two landing experiments more we are planning in 2024 with a different in start conditions so as to validate its extremities handling capacity. So this is yet another flight. Huh? Then we have to do a scramjet test demonstration, which is a, we have done one test uh, flight during uh, few years back using hydrogen as a fuel. So with the kerosene as a fuel, we are going to test the scramjet now. So that vehicle is undergoing testing in the ground and we are uh, going to have the scramjet test in sounding rockets uh, this year. Uh, so I think I have counted uh, very large numbers already. So. <laughs> yeah, only in 12 months we have to have minimum 12 missions, that is our target. Of course it may exceed depending upon our ability to produce hardware, complete the testing and things that goes well. If it is not going well, of course uh, there could be impact, otherwise uh, we are getting ready for at least 12 to 14 missions.